In this video, we get a few last provisions, we check out of Grenada, and we go north to stop for the night at Rond Island, and then troubleshoot why we are leaking oil into the sea. The next morning, we move on to Union Island, the first of the Grenadine Islands. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life I got all the actual food stuffs at IGA, but we're here for a last minute run. Cause it'll be two or three weeks before we get to another decent grocery store. <laughs> we have a, a couple of boats that are coming with us, so this is all of our, you know, like, hey, come over, have a drink and some uh -huh. snacks, you know, yes. way to make friends. Yes, yes, I know it is. <laughs> John unlocks the dinghy. There have been a few dinghy thefts lately. And I hear it gets worse as we go up the island chain. The dinghy thefts will get worse. So security is a big deal and John is really good at security. So pardon the rain on the lens. It is what it is and I don't have anything to wipe it with. But I'm going to Customs and Immigration to check out of Grenada. Today is November the 2nd, 2023. We arrived in Grenada February the 5th. So we've been here much longer than expected, but that's how it goes. Um, it's exciting though to start moving forward. Very exciting, I can't tell you. So here we go. I won't run the camera inside immigration. There goes Bob. Good morning, Bob. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? There is a line. We're leaving Port Louis. We are all checked out, and here we go, back to the boat. And it's a sprinkling. Thanks. Okay, Thanks. here's Linda and Dave, Linda has been responsible for all of this social activity. Moss, Reese! Come here. Here, boys. Yeah. Come here, Reese. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Sorry. Sorry I got too excited. There's Moss and Reese. So, anyway, thank you very much for all of the... Thank you for participating. Oh, like, you kept so me fun. sane. It's been so fun. So, um, anyway, we're, so we're saying guys. goodbye to y'all. Breaking up and everybody sailing away. I was going to tell you guys, I have been itching to leave Grenada since April. We got there in February. Really thought we'd be there two weeks. Head north, do all kinds of island hopping, and then come back and repairs. Blah, blah, blah. It didn't happen. So, as you know, we got stuck in Grenada, which wasn't all bad, but. 
I'm a mover. I, I like to keep doing things. I felt kind of stuck. Now our wind is 6.8 degrees. Eight, not degrees. Yeah, we lost all of it. Um, but yesterday and the day before and the past week or so maybe when all of the other ladies that we I've been hanging out with are starting to head north and so everybody's leaving and then knowing our we're leaving I'm excited about leaving but I'm I was teary yesterday off and on all day long and I think it was because you know we made some good friends who are in similar life circumstances who have mostly similar ideals and so I, I'm sad to leave that. So it's an interesting feeling to be excited to go and sad to leave. It's a feeling that every sailor you've ever talked to will say the same thing about because you really do meet some great people. Well, this is not good news. It's a lot of it too. Is it oil? Touch it. Is it oil or gas? My guess is the only thing it can really be is sail drive oil. Can I curse on camera? My mother would yell at me if I did. Really, this one's this side now. I'm told the snorkeling is really good here. It's a little bitty beach. We are the um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh boat to pull in. This is located in between in between Grenada and Cariacou. It is still part of Grenada, even though we've checked out of Grenada. We're popping here for the night. If anybody questions us. Issue, which we may truly actually have which is gonna suck rotten eggs we have really we've worked hard on this boat it is really disheartening because we've replaced so many things we've made it better than it was when we bought it but it needed more things than we knew, but that's just boat life. I think that's just boat life. And the fun things that I wanted to do, the fun things, like put some nice shades, get some nice pretty dishes with a little nautical theme, um, get a really nice mattress and some good sheets, and nice bedding. all brought up into the 21st century but other things standing rigging running rigging janiker replacement of jib and how do we replace the jib anyway mainsail we replaced um fixing some leaks along the back doing the rudder doing the bottom paint for the third time um all of those things have gotten in the way of all the fun stuff. Some pretty dishes, some pretty shades. So, but this is boat life I'm learning. And it just is what it is. Here we are for the night. My drink is up there, so I'm gonna turn you off and go get my drink and help John investigate the sheen on the water as we pollute the earth. There is an oil sheen coming from both engines. This one and this one. It looks like there's oil coming out of both engines. But thankfully there isn't. It's just an illusion because we are swinging back and forth.
so both engines are still full of oil so the next thing is is this sail drive oil which it's too hot right now to open them or if the work on the generator that we did pardon me because I've had a complete breakdown if the work that we did on the generator had left some oil in there and all the waves that we took over the bow today maybe that wash some oil out John's checking that now let's see John is in the water to see if he can find the source of the oil so there would be oil coming out of that thing right the big one right up there at the top yeah. not this one one forward more forward Yep. Oh, yeah, that's super there. yep okay yeah, that's super so let's check our generator oils so, uh, well we haven't run the generator but uh, there may be a thing of oil in there that got squished it's leaking out okay I'll open it up it I don't know did I record earlier I don't know I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now I'm in meltdown mode. Okay, so there is dripping oil coming from the bilge area of this generator that we just had fixed. So, I'm going to empty this and find out what's going on. I'm not going to record it. I'll empty it and get back to you. There is no oil here. I'm standing in here dry as can be. I cannot see. I'm going to film this. I cannot see what's underneath it here, or underneath here. But here, here. If this generator is leaking oil. This one right here. See? I laid these in there and one of these is leaking. Were those full? That one's not. That one comes down to here. I can't tell about this one. But you want to get a rag and put it under there to see if there's oil under there? Oh, I know there's oil under there. But how do we know it doesn't come from the generator? Because the generator has a catch to the of it. Now if I just don't fall into an engine hatch. Turns out it was just a leaking jug. My meltdown was for nothing, thankfully. Well, there's still some oil. It is 7 a.m. and we are at Rond Island headed for Union Island in the St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And we'll check in there. So it should be about four hours, but the wind Although it only calls for 14 knots, right now we're seeing 17 knots, but it could be funneling around this island. We'll get them warmed up and we will take off. I'm doing this inside because it's just too windy outside, but one of the lessons, one of the things, one of the things about being a great sailor is picking your weather window. When you see the movement of this boat, we didn't really do that. But in our defense, both the Windy apps and the Predict Wind apps did not show the amount of wind. They showed this size wave, 4.4 feet, but they showed it with a wider period, which makes a huge difference. They showed it with a five or six seconds, which is short, but these are like three seconds. So we're having a bit of a bumpy, sloggy ride. But um, passages, it's like four hours from here to carry a coup. No, like it's less than that. It's two hours here to carry a coup and then a couple to Union Island. So it won't take long. It's just bumpy. Everything's falling down. You can see I have everything that was up here is now in the sink. Luckily, all of this stuff is staying put. I have camera gear down there, some up here. 
We have the TV really wrenched down. Oh, as it moves. Not wrenched down as tightly as it should be. So, we're not nose into it. These waves are coming on to our starboard bow, so we'll be okay. Hole, but flags flags are a big deal look at this this is this is the forward bunk on the port side and it is in essence a garage so I have all my flags Western Caribbean there's Western Caribbean. This will be Eastern Caribbean. So I will get out the St. Vincent flag and the quarantine flag. Okay, this is the quarantine flag. It means that we have not checked into a country yet. I'm sure I've covered that previously. But we take the Grenada flag down, we put this up. Then once we get checked into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we put this courtesy flag up and we fly that while we cruise their waters. Along with our small and tattered USA flag, I also fly, which you can't see very well right now, a Texas flag and a Washington flag. And of course, the Texas flag is on top. There's Union Island. Well, we got another squall coming. Predict wind and the windy app both said 14 knots all day long, no change. We are approaching Union Island. It's got good charts, but it's really hard to tell what's what sometimes. and wet. Of course a rainstorm comes in, just as you're trying to get for a brand new location. Are we? Ugh. Rain and wind and chaos. So 
this is what I don't like. So we trusted the boat boy to bring us in because they say if you don't, then, you know, they've had some damage done. See all these buoys in a row here? They're really, really closely. Oops, not my finger. They're really, really close in a row. Like, don't go past them. But nope, he assured us. And he took us all the way up here where it was less than a foot deep. And at one point, my depth meter said zero. And we're the furthest away from the... There he goes. See, he's going to bring another boat in. That's why he left us, John. He said he'd be right back. He's going to bring another boat in. Let's see where he brings them. Customs and Immigration was closed for lunch, so we went around the corner and had a delicious local barbecue meal in the rain with a few island residents. I'll do that. It is really raining. It's a very quiet day on Union Island. The rain has stopped. This coming up is the dinghy area. And just like that, we're all checked in. It's been a long two days, so we go back to the boat and we leave for Tobago Keys Marine Park in the morning. Oh, we got ice. Thank you, though. Nice. And this is where they enter. Thank you very much for watching.